Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I've got a really really awesome video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys and sharing my opinions on the WMP NAG 75K H1 Michael Myers mask which I received um, a week or two before Christmas. So this was basically a Christmas present to myself and yeah this is definitely my grail piece my grail mask and it's pretty much my favorite piece in my halloween slash michael myers collection i've been wanting a really really high-end what i would consider to be probably the closest screen accurate h1 mask ever since i've got into the Halloween franchise and especially mask collecting so as you guys know from my previous videos and stuff if you've been following my channel for quite some time I've had a few different H1 Myers masks and you know I've gone through the gradual process from a beginner to a high-end collector um, I started out with a pretty shitty mask and I gradually moved up and I've got to say now I am 100% satisfied and this in my opinion is my grail piece I absolutely love it the NAG 75k in my opinion is probably the most screen accurate you're going to get when it comes to a replica Myers mask um, just the detail on this thing is amazing the paint job on this particular version is really really good I'm not a big fan of shading on the actual face and I love the paint job on this one it does have a little bit of shading to it but it's definitely got that real white pale look which in my opinion is what the H1 mask is all about um, the eye cuts are spot on really nice arm and shape to them and there's a bit of weathering on the nose and the lips and there's a bit of uh, flesh tone and weathering to the neck which is fine because it's not overdone another thing that I'm really really impressed with is the hair the hair is really really good on it um, the hairline looks amazing I'm a massive fan of the color of the hair um, it's a light brown but then it's got sort of darker brown tint to it, it looks really good and it's really really easy to style. Um, the mask itself is what I would consider to be a medium thickness which I actually prefer because I'm not a big fan of super thin masks. Um, I feel if the mask slightly thicker it holds its shape especially when worn and it looks amazing on me worn. Now I've had a few difficulties um, when it comes to wearing Michael's Myers masks because quite often it just would not look good on me, it would lose its shape but yeah amazingly this one fits me really good and it looks amazing worn so yeah I'll be showing you guys some worn shots um, at the end of the video so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's been quite a long process for me to try and track down um, a Grail Peace Myers mask, but I'm glad that I finally have. And what made it even better is I did not have to import this one from the States. So most of um, the Myers masks are either made in the States or overseas somewhere. And it's hard being an Australian collector because it's very rare that you buy anything locally but thanks to michaelmyers.net I met a local seller and yeah he hooked me up big time I got this for an amazing deal um, I paid 300 Australian dollars for it which I think is around about um, 
just under $200 US. So for an AG 75K mask, that was a hell of a deal. Because if I had to import one of these um, from America, I probably would have played um, close to double what I actually spent on this mask. So I got it for an amazing price. I absolutely love it. I'm ecstatic to finally own what I consider to be my H1 Grail mask. And yeah... Um, just an amazing, amazing addition to my collection. Um, my collection feels complete with this mask, even though I've got a lot more collecting that I want to do. But yeah, it's just like a massive piece that I've been wanting for ages has been added into the collection. And I'm sure any of you guys who collect anything will know the amazing feeling you get when you get that amazing piece that you've been wanting to pick up for a while. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the worn shots, let me know what you think of this mask in the comment section below, and thanks a lot for watching.